Bible told us it comes a day, come a time. And people, God's people will be kind of fearful. He said it'd come a time when there'd be a drought, there'd be a famine, a word. He said it'd come a time when his people would be afraid. But I'm going to tell you something. All you got to do is go back. <laughs> Every time the devil gets after me, he's been after me a lot in my life, many, many times. All you got to do is go back. He can chase me all the way through Knoxville. But you know what? He can't get me past when I step down on faithfully. He can't get past Grayson Baptist Church and that revival meeting on Friday night when I step down on faithfully. He can run me to there and I can say, Devil, you ain't got no power over me, none whatsoever. Because I stand on what I believe. And I believe in Jesus. He's my Lord and Savior and my Jesus Christ. Author and finisher of my thing. And I believe tonight he's just as real as he ever was. Sure. I'm going to tell you, if you're cold and indifferent, it's your own fault. <laughs> don't blame God. If you're about dry and blow away, don't blame God. A lot of us do that. I've done that. Lord, I just don't understand why I don't feel nothing no more. Have you ever been that way? Huh? That's right. Brother, you got to get a hold of something. I remember that old war Morton Stone set up in front of Plainview School. I was sitting back here cold as whiz. Freezing to death. Janie knows she was there. Freezing to death. And I could see how warm it was up there. I sit back in the back of the looking like an old frizzly chick. Do you know what I found out something? You move up a little closer every step you got. It began to warm up and right spot. You just kept getting closer and boy, once you got there in the belts and good RC, boy, you just want to kind of hang around that place. You want to hang around Jesus tonight? You want to hang around with the Holy Spirit of God that will be able to use you? Well, I tell you what, God's got a great work to do, boy. I, I didn't mean to say all this. I'm sorry, Ronnie. Ronnie, I'm going to smack it down. I know. I didn't mean to say all this. But I'm going to tell you, God's got a work for His people tonight. If we just get up and go, just go on and do it. Don't be afraid of what your neighbor's going to say. Don't be afraid of what anybody's going to say. Step out on faith. Believe it. Jesus is going with me. Praise God. Things will begin to happen in your church. I believe it's time for everybody to stand up and give the Lord a hand clap of praise tonight. He's worthy. Many times during that time period, we didn't have a lot of money. We would have. 
have to take our families for it. Like the bus payments, like the PA payments. There was times in this family we couldn't do things that maybe we wanted to do. Because we had to put it in the group. Thank you, family. But you know, I don't regret any of that. When you stop and think about the thousand souls that got right under our ministry, not because of what we've done, but because of we obeyed Jesus. Isn't it wonderful? There's three people that I can think of tonight that's done gone on to be with Jesus. Wayne's mother, Ronnie's mother, Charlene's father. Thank you for the prayers that you prayed while you were alive. Three fellas here tonight that when we would go to a church and get a $65 offering, we would buy three twins, five ones. Dad, Mr. Cup, Mr. Mitchell, thank you. It's not been forgotten. 20 years down the road, we still appreciate it. And you know, there may be some of you here tonight that down through life, this group right here is blessed or in some way enriched or helped your life. Is there, would you raise your hand if some way the king's servants had a bearing on your life? Oh, that's wonderful. Me and my wife was counting the other night. Since we've been married, we've been 14 times. She told me, we just built a new house. And she told me, she said, now let's build another new house. And I got to thinking about it. And all I could think of was packing those boxes. And it just kind of made me a little upset at the stomach because I didn't want to go through that again. But Wayne's fixed to sing a song that says, when I make my next move, I ain't going to pack no boxes. I ain't got a thing that I need to take with me. And I'm going to get to move into the big house. Jesus, so much of my life, I've been traveling on land and on sea, but I'm counting on taking a trip to the sky.
guess most of you know I've got liver cancer. But I'm glad tonight that my legs to be sure. I was 10 years old. Little dip revival over on Copper Ridge. Shavings in the floor. God told me I needed to be saved. It's still right here. Sometimes I want to go to bed early. I want time with God. I just close the door. Sue lets me alone for an hour or so. I cry and agonize with God. It feels so good. Because I don't think I've got too long. I don't know. But there's one thing about it, I'm ready. I want you to listen to this last verse. Songs meant a lot to me through the years. And I hope it blesses Here I'm bothered with tacking each time that I move I'll carry a load in each hand but I'll not need one thing I have used in this world when I move to that heavenly land when I
Oh